Oh wait, use a med kit. For some reason I thought we were- <laughs> he just straight up drinks bleach. <laughs> or rubbing alcohol. Ah. A bit of- oh, it's a camera! A bit of- oh god, we just ran through- oh god. Oh god. Oh guys! There's dudes here! Oh my god! <laughs> I am not a stealth agent. <laughs> that was a hot mess. <laughs>
starting with Iceland. Remember? I do not remember. I guess we're getting a flashback. We're having a phone conversation, and during the phone conversation, we're getting a flashback. All right, here are all the buttons. Secondary fire, primary fire. Jump is triangle. That's odd. Crouch is stand, interact, equip weapon. All right. Um, I don't know what opsat is. We'll figure that out, I guess. Thermal vision, night vision, EMF, and sticky cam. JZY likes his sticky cam. All right, let's uh, hop in here and hope we can remember most of these buttons. I feel like when you play a new game like this, it's like half a memory test when you start playing. Uh, just to remember what all the buttons even are that you can do. Although for any game that you really get into, it's like you just, you internalize, you memorize. You very quickly learn the buttons and then it's more about remembering what you can do. Like there are games I've played where you have like special abilities and stuff where I just like, I never use them because I always forget I have them. Or like I never throw a grenade and like, you know, the division or something like that because it's like, it just always slips my mind that I can actually do that. Um... But anyway, let's Should let's skip this Lambert? intro because we want to go in and kill people. Good news, folks. I've got some crates here. They're reinforced. It looks like Kadir wants the contents kept safe. Roger that. I'm sending the recovery team to your location right away. So we babysit the package till they get here. Negative. Those crates might have nothing we need. Leave them for the recovery team and proceed inside. Well, that was weird. Good news, we have crates. Sweet, we're sending a helicopter. So we should watch them? Nah, forget about it. They might have nothing. So, did you want us to look in the crate and tell you? We could just have a little look-see. Peek inside. Guess it's not worth it for them. Hey, can we jump? I don't want to cramp your style, so I'll stay here. Oh, well, thanks. That's called, uh, not supporting your, your, your backup, though, you know? All right, how do I actually get on this thing here? Jump. Jump. Nope. Let's try a different, uh... Oh, heat vision. Whoa, that actually looks totally cool. Here's night vision. Doesn't work too well in the daylight. Um, we also have... Whatever this is. Sonar stuff. Down does nothing. All right. We can crouch. That's something. Hey, buddy. What's up? What up? He's like, this is getting awkward, JZY. Don't do that to me. Um, Pull my gun out. He's like, oh, God, don't shoot me in the head. i kill you right now, and nobody would go to your funeral, buddy. Nobody would grieve your death. I'm your only friend. Remember that. Okay. How about, wait, so, okay, we can't go forward. What if we go this way? Learn about offset. All right, this is the way we go. All right, I, I, I understand now. Oh my God, there's a guy in the ice. You can grab him through the ice wall. Uh-oh, he sees me. <laughs> um, okay, hold on, get our guns ready. What's the primary fire button? Okay, one of those. That kind of worked. Oh, you can shoot him through- oh, shoot him! For some reason, I thought I was supposed to choke him out, uh, like Batman, Arkham, uh, Arkham Asylum style. I mean, Sam Fisher's a badass, but he's no Bruce Wayne, so... Alright. Uh, to learn about teammates, press X to view the button. Any ideas? Give me a boost. Oh, all right. Oh, I okay. I'm playing a video. Usually you work alone, but from time to time you're going to have help. Okay, L two. Oh, I'm so I'm supposed to press it. I see. Stay close. Roger that. Cooperation is the key, because sometimes there are things you can't do alone. Here, for instance, you'll need a boost to get over to the other side. Okay, I, I understand. Alright. 
So, we say, uh, back to game. We say, hey you, uh, whistle for me. Ah, crap. <laughs> okay, hold on, we say. Find a place to hide. Find a place to hide. Oh no, wait, here's where we need a boost. Hey you. Stay close. Get your worthless butt over here. Let me go over here. Let me go. Dynamic hoist. Initiate dynamic hoist. I can interact or abort action. All right. Okay. Not too bad. Sort of a context dependent menu. It's, it's a little wonky to get, you know, the, the buttons and stuff are a little wonky initially, but I'm sure I'll get used to it if I uh, keep going here. Fisher, inbound helicopter. It might be there for the crates Hisham found outside. Get back there and keep those crates secure. We should have been those crates in the first place, Lambert. Save it for later, Sam. Oh, there's a guy. Kill him. That was fun. Oh, there's another guy. Oh, my butt. Hey, did you kill somebody? Good for you, buddy. Your, the way ahead is too bright to pass through undetected. Use your gadgets to take out the guards. I'm way ahead of you, buddy. I already did it. Oops. Climb the ladder. Oh, yeah. There we go. We're sneaking our way in Sam Fisher style. I don't actually know who Sam Fisher is, though. I mean, he's the guy in this game. It's obvious, but... Oh, look, we have some options. We can open the door. Open the door stealthily. Bash the door! Yeah, okay, nobody's in here. Or, uh, you know, we had a few options there. I, I like that. Use the switch. We're going half stealth, half aggress uh, aggression. We're sort of s sneaking around, but we're kicking in doors. Sort of a... a Stupid way of doing things, because you're really you're not you're neither stealth nor aggressive. <laughs> invite the boost over. JZY would like to invite a boost over. That wouldn't be uh. That wouldn't be too awkward. This is where we go our separate ways. I'll go back outside and try to find another way in. Oh, okay. Well, will you at least boost me over? How about a little interagency cooperation? Let me take a shot. Okay. Easy there, cowboy. Step back and let me show you how it's done. The, the innuendo here is just off the charts. Right, there we go. He threw me over. Thanks, buddy. Why does my guy keep ducking? Oh, that's a bad guy. I see. Jeez, I can't hit anyone. I don't know how to reload, by the way. I guess we'll just figure that out eventually. Pick up body. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's just... There you go, buddy. Drop you right here. Curl up in a ball there and... Whatever. Okay, wait, what? Jump on the pipe above and use it to climb the shaft. Oh. Jump on the pipe above. Which pipe are we talking about here? Oh my god! Oh! Okay, this guy... Got some moves, man. I had no idea you could do something like this. In life, in general, this... This is sort of, it reminds me a little bit of Uncharted, actually. Uncharted is sh is a third-person uh, action shooter game, but it has, like, a lot of climbing, parkour, and puzzles. Sort of like that, only this is obviously more stealthy. Look at this, you just climb your way. Oh, nope, didn't mean to just, oh, oh. how did that guy not notice? Oh god! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just hunched dead next to him. 
I wanted to grab him and like choke him out or throw him over the railings or something. Uh, thank God this game has checkpoints. We're finally playing a game that's modern enough to have checkpoints. Um, oh no, it doesn't! What are you kidding? Back to the beginning of the level, you son of a bitch! Oh god. <laughs> Damn it. Looks like Kadir wants the contents kept safe. All right. I'm sending the recovery team to your location right away. Grab this guy through the ice. Oh, you can do it Batman style. Nothing we need. Leave them for the recovery team and proceed inside. Interrogate. Still. Who are you? Did Doc Fear send you? Yes, he did. Who's that? Good. Tell him we did it. We managed to steal the weapons. They're right outside, ready for transport. Good job. I'll take over from here. Do I kill him now? Quickly! We don't have much time before they find out about the theft. How do you kill him? <laughs> <laughs> Stay down if you know what's good for you. Alright. Init dynamic hoist. Initialize move sequence. Alpha, beta, tango. You up. <sighs> well, at least we sort of know where we're going, so this part should go faster. And I already played that initial part better than I ever did. Uh, Hisham but still. Uh, might be there for the crates found pretty funny. Oh, God. We should have been guarding those crates in the first place, Lambert. Save it for later, Sam. Hey, is this guy played by, uh, what's his face? The bad guy from, uh... The voice act is the voice actor for Sam Fisher. Is this the bad guy from uh, Total Recall? What's his face? Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh god! I have like a sliver of health left. Jesus. Okay, it's uh, so much for doing this part better than before. I wonder if we can actually save our game. Although, like, look, it, ta it takes, like, two seconds to get back here. I feel like it took me ten minutes to get here before I made it in, like, one minute, so. Obviously very... We didn't make it very far at all. Uh, but what's his face? He was also the, um... He was the teacher slash, uh, sergeant in, uh, in Starship Troopers... I want to say like Iron something. His his name is like Iron something. Jeremy Iron, Irons. No, that's, Jeremy Irons played. Uh, I mean that's a totally different actor. That's not who I'm thinking of. Oh, <laughs> wait. Where am I? I? Fell into the sewer. What a way to go! I jumped up, grabbed the pipe, and got shot in the gut from a distance. All right. We're not even making it to a checkpoint, by the way. Because restart at checkpoint is just the beginning of the level. It's hilarious. Um, Alright, let's let's do this one proper this time. Some crates here. They're reinforced. It looks like Kadir wants the contents kept safe. Roger that. I'm sending the recovery team to your location right away. Kill this guy. Oh, come on! There we go, whatever. I guess I'm not very good at being stealthy. Come on, dude, while the epic music is playing. It'll be awesome. Let me hoist ya. Oh, get up there, you ragamuffin. Okay. Now my turn. Pull! All right, if we die again, I'm going to look up some info on this game. But my goal is to not die. As it typically is in almost any game that I play. We should have been guarding those crates in the first place, Lap. Save it for later, Sam. There we go, just kill that guy. Okay, dead. Alright, I think we got them both. Oh wait, what? Alright, half health. Not great, but Better than last time we did this. Oh, I did a cool roll. Okay, stop ducking, dude. Oh, look at that. We can just climb up there, huh? That's cool. Alright. Back. The third time we've made it to this point. Again, I appreciate you can get here, like, actually really quick. 
done some analysis. We must be like around the corner from a uh locations around the plant as a precaution. We we must just be around the corner from a checkpoint. So we can cover more ground. Okay. This is where we go on the no, he's dead. I think there's another guy like way up there. We grab this pipe. Look, I'm just jumping around like an idiot here. There we go. And climb, man. This guy has crazy upper body strength. There's a time when I used to be able to do pull ups. And, uh, I'm not so fit anymore, actually, in my life. Doing a pull-up would be crazy. I think I could do one, probably. You know you know what the issue is? It's, like, partly, partly the pandemic. I stopped going to the gym and everything because of the pandemic, and I literally haven't, just haven't been back. Hey, here comes a guy. Let's see if we can, like, grab... Like, he's not even looking at the ground. Grab him. Oh, oh god, no! Okay, that was what I was trying to do before he shot and killed me. <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> the last time we got up here. Okay, we're making progress. This is good. There's some kind of like training video that we skipped. Hold on. Can we go back to it? They're more about cameras. Now let's take a quick look. See what they they want to tell us. That sounds like a camera. You have a special tool for this. The lab boys call it an optically channeled potentiator. I call it the OCP. It's right there, mounted on your pistol. Just aim and shoot. Okay. The green light means it worked. But to be sure, all you have to do is switch to blue vision. If you see nothing, that means it worked. But it's not disabled for long, so you'd better hurry. Oh, we have a little camera disabling bullet, eh? That's kind of cool. Um, oh, how do I switch guns? Hold on, I have like a machine gun selected. How do I do this? Oh, look at that. Oh, those are hot pipes. The heat vision stuff is actually pretty cool. Um, there's night vision. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's like picking up that there's a camera there. Cool. Okay, presumably holding X does nothing. I can zoom in though. That's something. Change the shoulders. Um, where, where did my pistol go? I thought I had a pistol. Like, do I not? What is happening? How about we just shoot the camera? This is probably going to be a terrible idea. Okay, I'm now out of ammo. And now I'm really screwed. Because I'm not only out of... <laughs> oh, good! I'm not only out of ammo, but I, uh... I can't disable the camera because I don't have a pistol either. I... What, what happened, man? What is this material? You guys just have like a plastic wall hanging out in the middle of nowhere? Okay, I very sloppily made it through. Oh, thank God. You can whistle quick in... Are the, what are these? KO action, lethal attack, switch hand. Oh, the right trigger is inventory. Okay. All right. All right, that's how, that's how we do it. Okay, th that that scream is actually incredibly helpful. Incredibly helpful. All right, while this next level is loading, let's look up Splinter Cell Double Agent and see what we got. Oh, we got a little cutscene too here. No, oh, there literally was nothing to that cutscene. The helicopter's lifted off. Sam, you absolutely have to find traces of this new weapon. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Tom Clancy endorsed the game. Tom Clancy is sort of like Sid Meier's, only Sid Meier's actually programmed his games. Whereas Tom Clancy just wrote things and people liked it. American novelist. He died in 2013. That's, that's too bad. 
I'm just looking up Sam Fisher here, too. Was originally voiced by veteran actor Michael Ironside. That's the guy. Oh, and hey, by the way, he's a Canadian. Canadian actor. Um, But yeah, he did uh, Starship Troopers. Uh, He was born in Toronto. Go T.O. My hometown. Wow, I actually don't think I knew that about him. But yeah, he was in Starship Troopers. He was in Total Recall. He was in many other things, too. But uh, yeah, good old Michael Ironside. And uh, he's still alive today. That's awesome. I For some reason, I'm reading his Wikipedia, and I thought, like, he passed away. And it's just like, he did this, he did that. I'm like, oh, he did things. He's dead now. But no, he's still alive. That's good. And just sort of skimming the rest of this uh, article here. I mean, there's we could we could sit here all day and read through this, but I don't want to. I want to keep playing. Um, the one other thing I'll mention is that there are separate versions for... There's Windows, PS3, and Xbox 360, which are all essentially the same version. Then there's Xbox, PS2, GameCube, and Wii, which are all essentially the same version. And then there's different multiplayers on both of those sort of two classes of game. Um, And I don't know how similar they are to one another. I imagine... This is kind of interesting. Whenever, whenever you see a game that is sort of on two generations of systems like that, like nowadays, the games are essentially the same. Like if you played Destiny on PS4, PS3, it was the same game. It just loaded faster on PS4 and looked nicer. But I think like this game probably played different differently, had different, you know, uh, multiplayer modes for sure. Maybe even had different maps, different campaign. Like it, it, it essentially probably was like a totally different game. Um, in the night vision mode here. That's what it was made for. Now, that's all just speculation because I haven't played it, but I have seen games like that in the past where it's like, yeah, it's on, you know, nominally it's on these two different uh, generations of console, but it essentially is just a different game. Um, you just, it, it's just two Tom Clancy double aging games, so. Um, yeah, maybe maybe you tune into this video having fond memories of the 360 or PS3 version. You're like, what the hell am I watching? Lasers. All right, tell me about lasers. The OCP is good not only for cameras, but you can also use it on other electronic devices, such as lasers, lights, TV monitors, and the like. The principle is the same. Just aim your pistol and shoot. You know, I like that these little tutorial moments are, like, uh, sort of just woven in to the game. And you can totally skip them if you want. Ah, there we go. The pistol. Let me just go like this. Ooh, that's effective. I like it. Oh, wait, use a med kit. For some reason, I thought we were (laughs) just straight up drinks bleach. (laughs) We're rubbing alcohol. Ah. A bit of... Oh, it's a camera. A bit of... Oh, God. We just ran through. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, guys. There's dudes here. Oh, my God. (laughs) I am not a stealth agent. (laughs) That was a hot mess. Uh Uh-oh. I hear alarms and stuff going off. Oh, it's too bright for that. All right. Just run through and... You know what? We just drank some rub and alcohol. We are really just all over the place. We want you to disable their production capability. There are some important consoles. Yeah, we're gonna play some bombs on their computers here. This looks like cool old computers. Look at that computer monitor there. Like reading out matrix style data code. Okay, one of two charges planted. Let's open the door stealthily. Oh, here we go. Well, that's kind of cool. Sam, Lambert, I just reached one of the labs. It's empty. But there are signs that something very toxic was stored here. I'm moving to another room. This He's is a three alarm. Let's hope Fisher has better luck. Wait, stage three alarm? Is there a camera I just ran by? Oh, yeah, there's a camera right there. Oops. <laughs> This facility is going on super high alert as soon as Jay goes to break in. You'll get a lot of use out of your goggles. For instance, night vision is an absolute essential. You can't do your job without it. Oh, we have smoke grenades? 
حسنا سأفعل Another useful vision option is thermal vision. Okay. There's nothing like it to see through smoke and fog. Plus, it makes guards much easier to spot. A third option is electrostatic monitoring, also called blue vision. It displays anything that emits a magnetic field. And since most things displayed in blue vision can be disrupted with the OCP, they make a great combination. Okay. Another vision mode deals with sticky cams. You can cycle through any of the cameras you fire unless Whoa. they've been destroyed and see what they see. That's actually a pretty cool gadget, I have to say. Huh. Cool. And there's one more mode you can use. It's called the EEV, and it allows you to scan objects for information. You can also use it to distance hack electronic devices. Distance hack? As hacker binoculars. Hacker binoculars. Wow. You know, I have to say that the, I think the gadgets in this game are actually pretty cool. It does actually remind me a bit of Batman Arkham Asylum because he had a lot of gadgets there too. Um, so this, I certainly wasn't expecting this there must be many gadgets in the game. I was informed you already had the weapons. We did. You did. Yeah, whatever. Lambert the lab. Bad guy did. stuff. That's not good, Sam. It looks like there was nothing here but those crates. This mission's a bust. Not yet. We still might be able to retrieve some data on the weapons by accessing the computers Crates. in the lab. One of them is oh shoot! Uh, but, no! I'm like switching guns! Oh god! Switch to another gun, dude! Dude! Dude, what's happening? No, pull your gun out! Oh my god! Okay, somehow we survived that. <laughs> another successful stealth moment brought to you by Jay. It's like the most embarrassing. I should just destroy this video. We should not upload it to the internet. Oh god. Okay. You know what it is? It's like I'm too used to modern games. I want the triggers to shoot, but it's the bumpers that shoot. An a uh, square brings out your gun. It's this weird mechanic. I want to hold down the left trigger to to aim down sights, and the right trigger to shoot. The right trigger switches weapons first of all. And you can switch to guns that have absolutely no ammo, so that's not very helpful. And then, uh... Oh, by the way, I just noticed there's a sound meter in the bottom left a corner that probably shows you, like, whether you're being stealthy. And also, that guy turned around at the worst time. I think I was just a little impatient, should have kept waiting for him to turn around, but... Yeah, I blame it partly on him. Um, now let's see if we can remote hack this thing. Um, how do we do this? Oh, here we go. Scanning. All right, here we go. Now we, uh, security access. Use left analog sticks to move the green curve sideways. Well, this is actually very similar to Batman Arkham, uh, Asylum. Okay, line them up perfectly. Does this count? The X to confirm. Well, this is kind of an interesting game. How close does it have to be, I wonder? A weird way to hack a computer. This is not how you hack computers in real life. I mean, I don't know how to like hack hack, but I know enough to know like it doesn't work this way. God. No, smaller, tighter. We're gonna running out of time to hack this thing. Did we do it? We did it! Ah. That's, that's kind of a fun minigame, actually. I, I didn't mind that at all. Raheem, below you'll find the specifics for Red Mercury. I've confirmed everything. The Russians have sold us a rare blah, 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 blah. Reading. Nice Whatever. Work, that information should give us plenty of leads. Good. I'm glad, I'm glad you want to read the whole thing, because I don't. Get out of here. I feel like I'm in a school. That felt like a school chemistry lab that I was hanging out in. Am I in a high school? Am I in an abandoned high school? Trouble aiming the OCP camera, try pressing 
the L3 button. Oh, there's a camera. Okay, finally. There we go. Using my brain for once. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm picking a lock. Okay, hold on. How do I do this? Okay, I'm just rotating the camera around. Hold on. Okay, hold on. There was there was a, a movie for this, wasn't there? Reverting to stage one. No? Man, this looks like an awesome minigame, too. Okay, stop moving the camera. <laughs> one one D-pad, all it does is move the camera. Why would that be a thing? How did I... How did I move the... The stick? Okay, I'm just, like, wiggling the, uh... Wiggling the D-pad. This, this can't be the way you do this. Alright, whatever. That looks like an awesome game. I wish- I wish it was more intuitive how to play that. But also you could do- Also, I just opened the door. I quote-unquote broke the lock, which is called turning the handle. But what is this? Pick up object. What did I just get? Got a thing. I don't have to blow up servers. Oh, there's a guy there. Huh? Oh! I think I hit him in the face with a canister. I thought... I threw a rock at him. Now he's real suspicious. <laughs> Alright, he's dead. I gotta find some more rubbing alcohol to drink. What is that thing that I picked up? What is this? Pick it up again. Or maybe I won't. I don't know what that thing was. A random, Give me a random uh, thingy. Okay, look, it's weird. So if Hurry. like like when you move the D-pad, it doesn't do anything, or the analog stick. Like I'm just sort of moving it in in random patterns, and it's doing this. Like here. I press up on the analog stick, nothing. Down, nothing. Left, nothing. Right, nothing. I move it in a circle and he does this. What? What is happening? Is that good? He's just... He, wiggle it higher, you bastard! This is so stupid! Wait, did that just open the door? Oh, oh, I... What? That picked the lock? I don't know. I don't know what happened. That, that, oh, there's a camera I just walked through. Oops. Um, oh, save available. Yes. Uh, wait, 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 wait. No, I do want, no, wait. Is it gone? Save? I think I said no. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, they took the option away. Oh, there's a guy right there. Oh, God. Okay, we headshotted him. All right, good. Good, let's just run. Let's get the hell out of here, man. We have screwed things up. Oh my god, I almost ran right through that. Alright, we've screwed things up hardcore in this hospital. Oh shoot, I missed. Can I crawl? There we go, alright. Man. What a mess. That lockpicking minigame looks so cool. I feel like we skipped the video that showed us how to do it. It's probably, if you know what you're doing, actually not that hard and pretty fun. But, uh, oh, hi, guy. He's like, hey, is somebody there? I'm like, yes! And I shoot him in the face! Oh, God! Well, that guy was, like, shooting past me because he couldn't see me. He didn't notice the giant glowing dots in the dark. That might have been a person. Might have been, uh, something, uh, you know, my night vision goggles sitting on my head, instead of on my face. They'd be more useful. Yeah, I suspect there's a server up there. I kind of hear the hum of a server. Looks like something we might need to blow up. Oh, I knew it. Okay, Father Christmas. All the children are tucked in their beds. <laughs> 
Okay, Father Christmas, all the children are tucked in their beds. So I, I, I do like all the stealth elements of this game. We're kind of running through fast because I feel like my style, like as a gamer or a human, is... I guess I'm just a very impatient person. I like to run through and stuff. Um, like, the, we haven't used the sticky cams or anything. We definitely should give them a shot if I can figure out how to actually use them. Um, actually, I think you just select them as like a, a third weapon from your inventory. So why don't we try sti uh, sticky cam soon? Um, oh, that was an actual door switch. But yeah, I, I, it's interesting now, like I'm thinking back about like Batman, the Batman Arkham games, which again, I really love, played a lot of them and stuff. And they do have stealthish elements. And same with like Metal Gear Solid, there's definitely stealth elements there. And the first Metal Gear Solid I really loved on uh, PlayStation. But I'm wondering why in those games I do better with the stealth and this one I'm not. And like maybe I'm just more impatient today than when I played those back in the day. Or maybe it's like there's just something about the mix of gameplay and stuff that's a little different in those games. Who good more rubbing alcohol? I definitely don't think it's a slight against this game because uh, from everything I can see, they're doing everything good. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I don't know. We, we keep screwing up the stealth section. So I'm like, why am I... Why am I playing this so poorly? <laughs> All right, let's try one more uh, little mission zone here. Look, they're telling you about noise meters and stuff too. Actually, that's cool. Stealth meter. How visible you are. Oh, that's that's cool. A lot of these uh, um, indicators and stuff have been there since the start. I just haven't really noticed them or known what they, they meant, but I get it now. I understand things. Also, 2008, man, the the setting of this game is 14 years old at this point. Uh, let alone, I'm sure this game, did it come out in 2008? Actually, I still have the uh, age up here. What does it say? Came out in 2006. This game was set two years in the future. This game is 16 years old, guys. If this game were a person... It would be 16 years old. That's crazy. Alarm stage two. Uh, switch to night vision and find a pole or something to climb. Or not. How do we get out of here? Oh, there's like a ladder there. You see that? Rack of... Maybe we shoot the ladder. Oh, oh, I only have three bullets left. Oh my God. I'm in a lot of, tr oh wait, can we, the fire extinguisher. This, I need more bullets in this game. All right, we, that did something. I don't think it's helping us, but it, it did a thing. Um, we have, no ammo, two bullets. We are in we are in so much trouble. Sticky shocker, sticky camera. Let's fire our sticky camera up there and Oh there it goes. Okay. Wait, why can't I fire? <laughs> Shoot. Go. Initialize. Okay. Well, that, that doesn't seem to work. Um, okay. Different modes. No EM signatures anywhere in the room. Here's heat mode. Heat mode looks so cool, but it just seems very impractical to play this way. Like, oh, we can slide through this way. I was going to say, like, maybe we can just fit between these pipes. All right. Well... Um, we're just not very smart, guys, as it turns out. Oh, I need night vision definitely for this part. Oh, I thought that was somebody. <laughs> uh, exit? No. I looked at my own head and got freaked out there. I mean, to be fair, if you were crawling around in the dark and you looked to your left and you saw your own head, that would be nightmarish. Okay, we're low on bullets, so you guys... We, only have, we really only have one bullet left. And then we're in a lot of trouble. Wait, how did how did I fall in here? How do I get out? Oh, there we go. 
Ammo of any kind would be appreciated, dudes. What's the uh, optic cable? Oh, you slide it under doors and you can look. Wow. So many cool gadgets. I I, I think I, I really, you know, if you like stealth games, I think this is a really cool game. I know we've played it very sloppy here today, and so don't take, like, you know, my gameplay style as indicative of how you should play this game. But I think, like, if you want, like, a stealth game, uh, this is a good one. I guess the only downside I would say is like the consequences to being caught if you're not stealthy seem really minimal. And that doesn't necessarily motivate you to be super stealthy. Maybe, maybe that's it. You know, like in Metal Gear Solid, if there's, an el if there's a moment where you're supposed to be stealthy and you're not, like you literally are just killed. You're massacred. This we can kind of shoot our way through. And even in Batman Arkham Asylum, if you're supposed to be stealthy in a moment and you're not, um, you just get you, you just get annihilated. Like, yes, there are scenes where Batman, like with his fist, pummels like thirty thugs, you know, to death, basic, basically. But there are other sequences where the thugs have guns and stuff, and uh, essentially. Um, you know, if if you are seen, you just get caught. Um, all right, I'm just going to keep spinning this as fast as I can. Because it's the only way. Like, this... All it does is... Just bounces. I just... I don't understand this minigame. Let's, uh... Oops, I was going to say, let's just break the lock. They're probably going to hear us, but... He's like, hey, what the hell was that? Hello? Is someone there? You might want to look at the door that just opened, but if you don't want to. Oh, God! I was lining up a headshot, and I took three in the face. Oh, my God. All right. Well, considering that we essentially... We were virtually out of ammo there, and uh, we couldn't figure out that uh, lockpicking minigame, uh, we're going to go ahead and, and quit here. Um, Tom Clancy's Double Agent here. One of the games, the book, a thousand video games is played before you die. Uh, character here is voiced by the legendary, I've forgotten his name already, Michael Ironside. Hold on, I want to look it up. Uh, third game in the series, Sam Fisher, voiced by Michael Ironside. What a cool name, too. Michael Ironside. Um, if you like stealth games, I 100% would probably recommend this one. I mean, I, I like, I wasn't very good today. Like, like, don't get me wrong. I sucked. I absolutely sucked as I was playing this. You guys are right to be shaking your heads or yelling at the screen or something if I was doing stuff poorly. But, um, I not only enjoyed it, even though I was bad, but I also saw in the game what would make it good like if you did if you played certain parts much better than me i'm like oh yeah this would be totally cool like there's neat gadgets and neat environments and opportunities to like be stealthy and do all sorts of cool stuff so um yeah i think i think it's a good game um i would probably recommend it to anyone looking for this kind of game but what do you guys think it does tom clancy's splinter cell double agent pass the muster does it hold up after 16 years of living let me know in the comments down below. Did you play this back in the day? Do you have fond memories, tips or tricks, opinions? Whatever the case may be, I'm, I'm always interested to hear your guys' take on things. And as always, uh, despite being terrible at this game, I hope you guys still enjoyed uh, checking it out with me. If you did, don't forget to like the video and all that stuff. And other than that, I will catch you in the next one. So until then, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. And peace. Oh god! Switch to another gun, dude! Dude! Dude, what's happening? No, pull your gun out! Oh my god!